Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Listen, 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 listen. I am done with CNA on the move. Um, CNA's entrepreneur book. I am done, y'all. I'm so excited about this book. Listen, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel, y'all. I am pumped. I'm on day. Oh man, I don't even know what day it is. Um, I have to go and get my other phone because I gotta make sure I do this right. Um, so my CNA on the move book is going to be published real soon. But I got to make sure I have these dates right. That I, I got to give it to y'all. But listen, I'm at work. Um, I'm at work. And tonight I worked by myself. I worked by myself um, with eight patients. Let me turn this off. Hold on, y'all. So I worked last night by myself. I've been, the last week I've been working with maybe two aides. Uh, well, one CNA and uh, mental health tech. But um, today I worked, well tonight, I worked by myself and I really did really good. Um, it was it's only eight patients. How can I not do good, right? With eight patients in my charger. So everything done and they just called me to see how um, everything went. But listen, 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 listen. This book is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Let me see how many um, days do I have until the book is released. I am so sleepy, too. Okay, so let me tell y'all what a CNA on the move originated from. So, oh, I need my glasses. I'm in my other phone trying to see how many days to Black Friday. So, Black Friday. Anyway, I was working in a hospital and I was working in a hospital and I was I was a CNA at the hospital. It's my first job as a CNA. And I was with a network marketing a company called <sighs> called It Works Global. I had been through a lot of other um different network. I'm gonna see how I'll listen to the book too. I had been through a lot of other um network marketing companies too, but this one was dope that I was with and I really, really um liked this company um and i was sitting at the nurse's station and i never forget it. it was on a saturday i was sitting in the nurse's station and i already had a social media presence anyway because way way before um i became public with my hiv status i always posted positive things on um social media anyway this is it's, this has always been a part of who i am people just didn't know i was hiv positive right but anyway so i created an extra uh, Instagram page and my name on there, I put CNA on the move and I made up, I posted a picture and I hashtag CNA on the move. CNA on the move means to me, cause this is my hashtag. I made it up and I actually need to go and get that, um, that, that trademark because this is really finna blow up. How many days till I felt like, um, I'm a CNA and I was on a move to something uh, greater than something bigger than being a CNA. I felt like I was not going to be a CNA for the rest of my life. I felt like I was on to something, um, something really, really big. And I felt like I was passing through, um, the healthcare field. I felt like I was passing through being a CNA. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. I love being a CNA. I will forever be a CNA. Listen, I don't care how successful I become. I don't care about how many books I published. I don't care how many, how big my publishing company become, my nonprofit, my speaking again. I don't care. I'm always going to keep my CNA active. And that's a promise to myself um, that I will always do because I enjoy what I do. So that means I might have to work two days a year at somewhere. I don't know, but I will always be a CNA. But at that time in my life, I felt that God was calling me to something greater. Um, I always had low self-esteem and low self-worth, and I never really thought high of myself. Um, even then, when I made this CNA um, on the move hashtag, um, 
But alone the years, like as of right now, I still enjoy being a CNA, but I feel like I have, um, I'm burnt out as being a CNA. Um, I feel like a CNA, listen, I'm not coming for anybody. I'm talking about me. CNA don't work my brain no more. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy doing this. I've been doing it for 17 years, right? It's easy. And I need, I'm the type of person that I need to always be learning. Even I, I know I learned stuff doing CNA work. So I meet different patients and I meet different CNAs and they teach me different things. But for the most part, it's time for me to do something else. Um, something more fulfilling. Um, HIV had HIV. Uh, being a CNA has been very fulfilling. Um, it, it's, it has, yeah, I'm sleepy too. It has really been amazing. But my time as a full-time, even part-time CNA is up. Um, and I knew that when I made that hashtag. And that's what CNA on the move means. A CNA moving to something bigger than being a CNA. Not, not saying that she don't enjoy her job. It's just that a lot of CNAs be CNAs with in mind thinking about becoming a nurse, um, becoming a um, that, uh, that, uh, uh, anything, right? I can't even think of nothing right now. But a lot of CNAs don't just want to be, <sighs> a lot of CNAs just do not want to be CNAs. That's just not it. For a lot of us, it's not just wanting to be a CNA. Even when I became a CNA, I didn't think I, I wasn't. I, I didn't think I'm gonna be a CNA um, forever. I thought I was gonna become a nurse. That was the whole goal was to go and be a CNA to see how it went and then become a nurse. It was always not to be a CNA forever to move up. But for me, my move up was to do something else, and that was become an author, become a um, publisher, and to become an HIV advocate and um, abuse advocate. Um, that's that was for me, but somebody else. It might be something else. Listen, that's where CNA on the Move originated from. Listen, the reason why I chose Black Friday for this book, I chose Black Friday for this book because doing this, it's 37 days to this book is published on Black Friday. So me and my coworkers, we always teamed up and did doubles. This is what we did. We teamed up so we knew what day we was gonna get our checks. We knew how many checks it was before that day, right? So we would work our butts off. And Black Friday, we would shop. And I know CNAs all around the world right now doing the exact same thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure of it. Just no, not only CNAs, people in general, but CNAs for sure, because I'm a CNA and I know how it go. Um, they teaming up with their friends. They teaming up with uh, co-workers as go-getters. They teaming up with people they don't even like um, to keep them woke while they do their doubles and stuff. And that's the day that a lot of people spend a lot of money. Um, and that's the day that I wanted to publish my book because I know everybody going to have money. <laughs> and not only that, I know CNAs are going to um, have money. So, um, yes, I'm publishing my book on Black Friday. Now I have this big goal and this big dream of selling 2,000 books um, by January. It's weird, right? Yeah, very weird. But I know I can pull it off. Um, I have faith that I can pull it off, right? So I have faith that I want to. I want to. I want to sell 2,000 books um, by January. So that'll be maybe 30 days. 2,000 books. That's a lot. That's a lot of books to try to sell. I don't know. Let's drop one of the zeros, right? I don't really care. But listen, another thing that I, I'm doing with this, this is like a big campaign for me, right? Y'all, this is just absolutely amazing. If y'all CNAs, please comment on this video and tell me what you think about everything that I'm doing. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm, I'm really downplaying it for y'all right now, but I'm ecstatic. Like, literally, I want to be jumping up and down telling y'all this. So I've been a CNA for 17 years. I'm going to go to 17 nursing homes or hospitals, really like places I didn't work at. And I'm going to put my flyer on cars. That's gonna be cool, right? I might even go to grocery stores. I wanna buy 800 flyers. 
And I will have to do that really, really soon because 26 is coming up. It's 30, it's 37 days to, yeah, 37 days to that day. So I need to start doing this maybe two weeks prior to the, the release day, I think. 14 days before it will be good. Yeah, so I'm excited about it. I'm done with the book, y'all. I'm done with it. Um, I'm going to reread it for the next 72 hours. I'm going to tweak it, fix it, try to perfect it. Um, and then I'm going to send it over to go and get edited. And I'm going to get my back cover um, created. This is just like absolutely amazing to me. I thought that I was going to um, create a book where I explain just a woman a woman becoming an entrepreneur. That was the CNA. That's the CNA. But I'm actually telling a story of a woman living with HIV, struggling with her identity, struggling with her, the truth of her, um, struggling with her truth that pushes through and becomes who she wanted to be. It's amazing. It's basically, um, I think the book is going to be really encouraging to CNAs that regardless of what you're going through in your life, you can reach your goals. You just have to, you have to work hard and you have to put your feelings to the side. Our feelings have no desire to please God. And if you can put your feelings to the side, you can accomplish anything that you want to accomplish in this world. And I think that's what I want my book to be um, driven by, right? So, yes, 37 days and this book is coming out. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, could you guys do me a favor? Listen, I'm two subscribers away from um, 2,000 subscribers. That's really big to me, right? 2,000 subscribers. I'm showing out. And I'm close to 2,000 um, watch time, too. So that's actually amazing, too. I'm really on track, right? Um, could you please share this video to your CNA friends, your CNA buddies? If you are a CNA and you've been watching me for a while, or not only if you're not a CNA, if you're just one of my faithful YouTubers that um, has been watching my journey with me um, living in my truth as being a, a woman living with HIV, and now for me to tell another part of my story about me being a CNA, share this video, share this video, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. Let's help me get to my goals, y'all. I have a lot of goals with the CNA book. I have a lot of goals with the um, HIV Thoughts book. And not only that, I have a lot of goals with this channel. And I'm going to try to stay consistent, but I'm going to need you guys. I'm going to need you guys to help me. Help a girl out. Share this video, y'all. Share this video to um, family and friends. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. I am so sleepy, y'all. I'm about to sit here and do some studying. Um, and then I have to leave. I'm leaving at 6.30. And that's in two hours. I'll be out of here in two hours. Yes, but I had just wanted to tell y'all that I'm done with my CNA on a move book. Um, and I, yeah. So I guess I can end this video. I am extremely tired. I'm acting weird. <laughs> this is how I act when I'm tired, y'all. I'm weird. Um, yes, enjoy y'all Wednesday. And do not forget to love on yourself. It's probably one of the best things you could do for yourself, for your future, for your life, is to love on yourself.